Texas, where the night sky lit up and so did the 911 phone lines. Police fielding hundreds of calls from people who saw a blazing fireball or who heard what sounded like an explosion. You can see the fireball on this dash cam video and look at it here on this police cruiser cam. NASA confirming to ABC News it was a meteor. Four feet long, 4,000 pounds, traveling 55,000 miles per hour. It looked like it was across, like in, in towards uh, Mexico. Just last week, people in several states saw fireballs racing through the sky. And overseas, check out this one streaking over Japan. And right now, the time to be looking up. Three different meteor showers peppering Earth, meaning we'll see more of these images that are out of this world. A massive storm in the Bering Sea off the western Alaska coast and to the east of Russia strengthened enough to be considered the strongest storm that the turbulent region has ever seen. From space, you quickly get the sense Typhoon Nuri is a beast. Oh, Already threatening to whip up 50-foot waves like these as it heads towards Alaska's Aleutian Islands, the storm also threatens to send a chill through millions of Americans. Nuri is so powerful it's going to create a buckle in the jet stream over the U.S. Literally changing the course of the jet stream. Releasing a wave of bitter cold. We already had a taste last weekend. Up to 21 inches of snow in parts of Maine. A tropical cyclone and torrential rainfall hit the Sicilian coast on Friday and continued until about 8 a.m. local time on Saturday. The wind swept debris into the air as people were forced to take shelter indoors. <laughs> this evening and those incredible images we showed you last night here that town on alert and yet another sinkhole just hours ago it comes after the first one swallowed this cars and this car i should say in 15 minutes flat just when authorities outside tampa were thinking this 10 foot wide sinkhole had stopped growing another one five feet wide opened up at a home next door and they say it's possible they could see a third Two people are missing, and more than 100 people are displaced. After water swept through the northern Italian region of Liguria, Monday to Tuesday night, transforming the city centers into rivers of mud. Now, wave after wave of violent storms have crashed into France, Italy, and parts of Central Europe over the past few weeks, causing devastating flooding. Cities throughout Italy, north and south, report severe disruption due to the bad weather from the past few weeks. Liguria remains on high alert, where rain continues to batter the region. Good evening. From sea to shining sea, America is about to feel the chill. By tomorrow, Arctic air will blow freezing temperatures nearly everywhere. It's already freezing in Colorado. This fall, they're blowing snow, not leaves. Tonight, much of the country digging out. Marquette, Michigan, buried under more than three record-breaking feet of snow. This is early for this kind of snow. And behind that snow, big winds whipping up big waves on Lake Superior. The real issue for tens of millions of people is the cold. Sub-freezing temperatures extend all the way to Texas. It is below zero this morning in Montana, Wyoming, and the Dakotas. I gotta tell you, the storm added insult to injury because it knocked out a whole bunch of temperature records. It's almost impossible to believe that we're more than five weeks away from winter. With the wind chill, it felt as cold as negative 32 degrees here in Denver early today. That's a 101 degree difference from Miami. Arctic air sending temperatures plunging into record-breaking territory. The coldest place in the country, Casper, Wyoming. Last night, it dropped to 27 below zero, a record for November. In Little Rock, Arkansas, they saw the earliest snowfall in more than 20 years. Across the heartland, slick roads still a big problem. In Minnesota, at least four dead. The cold blast sliding west, triggering 80 mile an hour wind gusts there, cutting power to thousands and downing trees. 20% of the country has snow on the ground after this week's major storm. That is unusually high for mid-November, and it is expected to increase. The U.S. Geological Survey reported that a moderate earthquake of magnitude 5.5 struck the south shore of Kyrgyzstan's Lake Isaac Kul today. The quake which struck at 7.24 a.m. local time was very shallow and depth of only 6.2 miles that would have amplified its effect. The epicenter was located 8 miles east town of Kajisei and 149 miles east south of the capital Bishkek. 
A magnitude of 5.5 earthquake is capable of causing substantial damage. A strong undersea earthquake has hit Indonesia, but damage was limited and no casualties have been reported. The 7.1 quake was recorded off the Maluka Islands and strongly felt in several cities. It caused some power cuts in Manado, but the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center in Hawaii says there is no risk of hazardous tsunamis in the aftermath of the quake. Well, moving on now, and we uh, want to begin news day at the moment with this developing news from New Zealand. The east coast of the North Island was, uh, in the last hour or so, rocked by a 6.5 magnitude quake, and it happened just after 11.30 local time. It was felt widely across the North Island, from Whangarei in the north to the top of the South Island. Also reports of uh, it being felt in Nelson. There have been no reports of injury or of damage. The deadly floodwaters that killed six people in just one day. In the region of Le Gare in southern France, this car carried a couple and their two infant sons. Rescue workers managed to help the father out, but could only watch as the car was swept away with his wife and children. Witnesses say the waters rose dangerously fast. Floods and landslides have killed at least three people along the Swiss-Italian border. The region of Ticino has been battered by weeks of torrential rain, which worsened when Lake Lugano broke its banks and Lake Maggiore threatened to do the same. And across the border in Genoa, in northern Italy, this police footage shows a similar landslip, which killed two people. It's after torrential rain and storms hit the region over several days. City streets became rivers, with muddy water gushing along them the results of weeks of severe storms across northern Italy. The scene from this town near Genoa is a snapshot of the region. People are being warned to stay indoors because of the risk of being swept away. Emergency teams dispatched to the worst affected areas are trying to pump water away, but the land is so waterlogged and the rain keeps falling, it's proving a tough battle. In the past two weeks, they've had as much rainfall as they would normally get in a whole year. Good evening, and we begin with that state of emergency. More than four feet of snow in 24 hours, and tonight, 225 million Americans dealing with frigid cold. Drivers trapped on highways, part of a key interstate in upstate New York, closed. Travel bans in effect as we head into the night. And look at this time lapse in Buffalo, New York, of the snow rolling in over that city. Lake effect is not new there, but this is severe and early, many saying the worst in memory. This image from the New York State Thruway, covered in several feet of snow. You can see the tire tracks there. Record-breaking cold for millions and an incredible wintry mess across the Great Lakes. In just 24 hours, over four feet of lake effect snow pounding the region. Whiteout conditions and drifts up to seven feet. From the north in Michigan, treacherous driving all the way to the south. Record cold tonight in Georgia. The National Weather Service reporting more than a thousand records shattered with this system. Because temperatures in all 50 U.S. states dip to freezing or below, winter has come early in most parts, including Hawaii. This incredible time-lapse video showing just how quickly the freeze hit. This lake in Washington state going from liquid to ice in just a few hours. No doubt about it, we are witnessing some historic cold for this time of the year. When we looked at these this morning's temperatures, we had 86% of the lower 48 below freezing, a sub-freezing temperature in every state. It's the coldest November morning since 1976, decades ago. What could be worse than seven feet of snow? In the Buffalo, New York area, they're now dreading the rain and flooding expected this weekend, and they're rushing to clear roofs before the water weighs them down even further. Dozens have already collapsed. 1,200 workers and more than 650 pieces of heavy equipment have been sent from around the state to clear the streets. At least 13 people have died in the record snowfall, 79 and a half inches in Hamburg, New York, 
88 in Cowlesville. The second round of a monster lake effect snowstorm intensified overnight with winds blowing up to 25 miles per hour and thunder snow lighting up the downtown Buffalo sky. Just this week alone, the Buffalo area expected to reach similar amounts of snow to what is usually the total for the whole year. Leaving the house, not a choice for many, this garage door opening to a blanket of snow. Cars lost underneath the massive mounds of white. The roads, still a mess. Hundreds of cars left abandoned on those snow-clogged highways. Officials saying it could take days to clear them. Western New Yorkers are used to early season snowstorms, but with accumulation totals expected to reach eight feet, this system is one for the record books. Over in China, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.3 rock Sichuan province in southwestern China on Saturday, killing two people. Roughly 60 people were injured during a stampede at an elementary school. The Seiduan Xinhua News Agency says authorities are still trying to assess the extent of the casualties. Strong aftershocks could continue for the next week after an earthquake today in central Japan. A 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck Nagano, Japan, Saturday night, leaving at least 50 people injured. Japan's meteorological agency reported that several buildings collapsed due to the seismic activity. At least 10 homes collapsed in the ski resort town of Hakuba, injuring people trapped inside and destroying belongings as a magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck near Nagano City. The shock radiated through homes and businesses. People at the local TV station scrambled for cover. It knocked out power to 1,600 homes and triggered a landslide in Nagano, blocking and damaging roads. An emergency detection system temporarily shut down the local bullet train. The ground shook as far away as Tokyo, more than 100 miles from the epicenter. But the quake struck too far inland to cause a tsunami. Authorities reported no signs of irregularities at a nearby nuclear power plant. All reactors remain offline following the earthquake and tsunami which hit Japan in 2011 that sent the Fukushima plant's reactors into meltdown.